Hello everyone, this is Elopinator and I'm back <coughs> to do a tutorial about how to do Dragon Heads and this is gonna be how to do Dragon Heads by side view okay first of all we're gonna do we're gonna uh, draw a circle uh, yes a circle circles or everything you know it doesn't have to be perfect it has to be you know like semi oval you know you have to do you know like a very small circle to start After you've done the circle, then we're gonna do the mouth. And the mouth can be like a guideline where we draw like um, like a line. And the mouth is gonna be in the shape of a square or rectangle, more re rectangular. In fact, you can draw the the shape of the mouth any way you want to. But in this case, we're gonna see how you draw it. You draw by a square type. I mean, rectangular type. After you draw the you know the mouth, you draw the neck. Because it's a dragon, dragons have very long necks. And okay, there, there, there. Finish is the guidelines to do the dragon, the dragon head. Now we're gonna draw. <coughs> we're gonna add the details. First, we're gonna start with you know the mouth. The, I mean the nose. And the nose can do can be anywhere. We're gonna do like a small bump, and then we're gonna do another small bump for the nostrils. And we're gonna connect the nose trials to where the uh, where the eye is. You know, a very small circle. And then after that, we're gonna do the mouth. The mouth can be in the same line as the guidelines. <coughs> you know, let's make the dragon smile. You know, you always see dragons being angry. And being, oh man, I wanna, I wanna eat that stuff. But no, no, let's make, let's make it smile. You know, let's make, let's make a happy dragon. Then we're gonna, you know, <clears throat> add like a little, little, how would you call it, little spikes to the, uh, to the bottom sides of the head. You know, those are small details that you can add. And then we're gonna draw like the center jaw. Still, still drawing, you know, the spikes for, you know, details. Then we're gonna add, you know, like, the sun, just the final shape of the jaw. You know, a very simple dragon. You know, finishing the snout or the nose. Now we're gonna do the eye. The eye can be, the eye can be as realistic as unrealistic as it can be. It can be very, uh, very cat eye or very human eye. Depends on your favor. I'm gonna do, you know, like, like a very happy dragon. Okay, we're finishing up the the eye. Now. We're gonna do, of course, uh, how do you call it, the horns or, you know, the upper part. This can be anywhere you want. I'm gonna do, you know, very, very long horns. Two horns. You can draw one horn if you want to. Always remember that, that in the upper, in the horns, on top of the dragon, the one that is the closest to you is always bigger and the one that is farthest is always a bit smaller you know like that perspective angle those uh, what I'm drawing right now are guidelines for the horns okay now I'm drawing the horns that's the, that's the you, you will call it the, the closest horn and then the second horn is gonna be a little bit smaller than the first one you know a little bit of perspective and like I said these horns can be drawn anywhere I'm gonna draw them uh, later uh, more heads okay so we have the head <clears throat> almost finished now we're gonna draw the really nice neck oh no I mean sorry we're gonna draw. We're gonna keep drawing the horns because I forgot. 
like I said, it depends on you can draw as many hor as many as many horns as you want to. You can draw one horn, zero horns if you like. I'm gonna draw, you know, five horns because he's a side view. Okay, a little bit of you know, you know, thing for the horns. Now I'm gonna draw the neck. And using the guidelines for the neck that we, you know, the line for the neck, we're gonna do draw two uh, lines, one on each side, or the neck, of course. Uh, the one who, the one that is the left can be much more bigger than the one that is right. Because we will, we're gonna add another line, and that line right there is gonna be the line for like the like another part of the neck. And after we've done this, you know that you know the basic shape of or the guidelines for the neck, we're gonna add some scales, some scales, you know, because dragons have scales. And this can be anywhere you want to. I'm gonna you know this is for details to make the the dragon look you know more nicer. And I'm going to add scales um, onto the right side and the left side, not the middle side. I'm going to, you know, leave it, leave it like that, leave it. I'm going to, I'm going to draw more, how do you call it, more uh, reptile skin on it later on. Okay, there I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing the, the horns, I mean the horns, not the horns, the scales. Because dragons have scales, and like I said, this is a very, very simple dragon. You know, we have the neck, we have the ha we have the horns, we have the eyes, the scales, and we drew one more, so it can be like nice and spiky outside. It takes it takes a while to do the scales because you know you you have to draw so many. So sometimes you can draw big scales to save time, or if you have more patience, you can draw very small scales. And now in the middle, I'm gonna draw another scale, but this one is gonna be much more bigger than the one who than the one on the right sides. Uh, patience, patience, patience. <laughs> and now I've done. And now I've drawn the both sides. You know, it looks nice. And now in the middle, I'm gonna do like really small pecs, like like V lines, uh, to add like a little bit of you know, sh uh, you know, reptile skin. Because dragons are reptiles, and uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it's done. And this is how it looks without the guidelines. You know, a very simple dragon horns, very simple dragon. Just follow the guidelines for how to draw them. You know, the circle, the line. You know what? In fact, I'm gonna draw a second one. I'm gonna draw three, three different types of dragons. This one is the first one, very simple. Uh, and the second, I'm, well, I'm also drawing a little bit of scales. I mean, not scales, reptile skin uh, to the head, so you can match the the middle side of the neck. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think we're done. So those are the guidelines, the circle, the reptile, the rectangle, and the guideline for the neck. Very simple, very, very simple. Okay, now <laughs> what I'm gonna do is gonna draw a second dragon. And this one is gonna be very, very different, completely different. And I'm gonna show you that you can draw, you can use any imagination that you want. You can even combine even 
different types of of animalistic parts like dogs, animals, birds. Okay, I'm gonna draw. Always start with the circle because it, you know it's very easy to make a dragon by first drawing the circle. Oh, messed up. I'm gonna draw it, you know, a bit more in the center. You know, a circle. This you don't have to make a perfect circle. It's just a guideline. Remember, always start with the guidelines. It always makes the your work much more easier. Well, it makes my work my much more easier. I really don't know how to draw correctly. So yeah. Um, well, there's the neck. And there's a circle. And the guidelines for you know. You always have to draw. Okay. You have to draw. Um, how 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 would you call it? You don't have to draw so hard the line, the guidelines, because it makes it much more harder to erase. Now, for the mouth, instead of doing a rectangle, I'm gonna do like a shape of like a square oval type. And we and you can also combine different types of shapes for the mouth. You don't have to. You can even draw a circle for the for the mouth as well. This shape, I'm gonna do something like like a dog. You know, I added nose. Now I'm adding the mouth. I'm gonna also draw this smiling. You know, dragons need to be smiling more. And now I'm gonna draw, you know, uh, how would you call it, the jaw type. And I'm going to circle everything and enclose it. You know, circle. Okay, it's, not, it's, not, it's okay. It's okay. There's a nose. You know, like a very small nose. And I'm gonna add some details to the nose to look at you know a little bit more interesting. Now I'm gonna add the the eyes. Like I said, the eyes can be uh, as detailed as you want to, as cartoony as you want to, or as human as you want to. Now I'm gonna. I'm gonna draw this the, the the detail that is going to be connected to the upper side of the eye, and that part is gonna be where the horn is gonna be. Again, if you wanna draw two horns on the upper side, on the uh, yes, on the upper side of the of the face of the dragon. Make always, always make sure that the first horn or the one that is closest is always bigger than the second for perspective, for a little bit of perspective. Now, in this case, I'm not gonna draw scales for the neck. No, I want to show you that you can draw, you know, different types of dragons. So instead of drawing scales, <coughs> I'm gonna draw a very a uh, furry type of dragon, you know, like complete full of hair. You know, like a dog. You know, to make it, to make it more, uh, more uh, a combination of other of other animals. Because, like I said, drawing dragons are you know really easy and very fun to make. You can draw them any type you want to. You can combine them with any animal you want to. You don't even have to draw scales, you can add fur. Now I'm gonna draw you know the guidelines for the neck. Remember one the uh, one on the right and one on the left. You can also draw, you know, a very small neck. And now I'm going to draw the fur. And you can see that the fur is a little bit uh, farther where the guidelines is. You know, the hair can, can also be drawn as like drawing fire. Now I'm gonna draw. Oh, I forgot to draw the other, the fourth guideline. 
and there's a guideline and I'm gonna draw a fair in this case I'm gonna make that like the like like the, where the torso is of the dragon in this case it's, it's gonna be full fledged of hair it's gonna be a very hairy dragon full fledged of hair Completely full of hair, you know, some lines. Hmm. Okay, oh, sorry, I forgot. Let's do a, a little bit of more uh, lines. They're finishing up the dragon. And there it goes without the guidelines. A very furry dragon. Two horns. No scales. Easy, easy peasy. I'm um, gonna draw. Eliminate a few guidelines. And maybe I'm gonna draw a bit of. Uh, how would you call it? A bit of uh, shadows. Yeah, a little bit of shadows. Um, there, there, there. I hope that you can see it. Mm, very simple dragon, no scales, full flesh of hair. I wonder how a full flesh of hair dragon will look in real size. I think I have to do that. Just to, just to, just to see how it looks. It's gonna be, look very, very funny. There we go. Full flesh hair. Completely done. Smiley face. Smiley face. No. Evil smiley face. Wahahaha. <laughs> and now I'm gonna do one more dragon. And this one <laughs> is gonna be a skeleton type of dragon. Yeah, why not? A skeleton type of dragon head. You know, just just, just for the loss. The same exact way, you draw a circle. Yeah, yeah, a skeleton type of dragon. I'm gonna make it big, gigantic horns. Yeah, circle. Guidelines. The mouth is gonna be also rectangular. Uh, yeah. You can always add the, the first lines. You know, make it like a crescent. The, the lines are getting bigger in the mouth. You know what I mean? I mean, in the tip of the mouth, make it smaller and then it gets bigger uh, when, it, when it's connected to the head. Okay, the neck. And that's the guidelines for the dragon. There we go. It's very simple dragon. Uh, head, rectangle, and neck. That's pretty much it. Now, yeah. But the dragon, that's right. Uh, skeleton dragon. Skeleton, skeleton, skeleton. Let's make a very pointy, yeah, a very pointy skeleton dragon. I always start with the nose because the nose can be connected to the eye, and then I can start off with the horns and then the upper jaw. It makes it, it makes it easier for me to do so. Uh, you don't have to do that. You can start right off anywhere you want to, but I guess making it drawing starting from the head or the upper side of the head is a little bit easier I think I think I don't know and because it's you know a skeleton dragon that he's not gonna have any eyes yeah let's make a no eyes skeleton dragon a dead skeleton dragon There we go. There we go. Now I'm drawing the mouth. And now 
now the lower side of the jaw or the jaw very simple very simple driving now let's add you know a little bit details for the you know the, the skeleton the, the skeleton skeleton shape of the dragon and now there's uh the f yeah the horns yeah let's make some big old horns a mean dragon a mean mean dragon Now let's let's eliminate a bit of the guidelines to make it you know more feasible I think. And now for the neck, I'm not gonna draw a neck. This guy is dead. Dead skeleton. I'm gonna draw a bony skeleton, yeah. A vertical neck, yeah, exactly. Skeleton shape. Nines but nines. Remember, remember always to have patience. You know, there's always too many bones. Let's add spiky bones. Yeah, spiky, very spiky bones. You know, he's a dragon. You know, dragons are kind of spiky. I think I just draw a hairy dragon, so I don't know. A hairy dragon. Oh, okay, okay, there, there we go. Very easy. Very easy dragon, you know, the neck, the rectangle for the mouth, you can always draw different shapes for the mouth and of course a line for the neck. Very simple way how to do a dragon set. Let's add a bit of, how we call it, a bit of shadows. Yeah, a bit of shadows. Okay, bit of shadows, shadow, shadows. There we go, finish dragon. <laughs> uh, for more guidelines, for more, uh, how would you call it, for, for more tutorials. <laughs> Can, you can uh, you can comment on the pay, um, on below and tell me hey man can you do an, a tutorial on how how to do this how to do that and I'll do it and I'll say hey how to do it let's do this you you do it like this and you do it like that and what's sick that what's sick that what's sick that what's up what's up what's up what's up and like that of course I'm gonna do more dragons this is gonna be the first tutorial for how to do a dragon I'm gonna do more tutorials on how to do a dragon from the front. How to do a dragon from the side view, how to do a dragon looking up, how to do a full fledged dragon, how to do a dragon flying. You know, dragon flying, uh, drawing dragons are very easy. And you can also be very creative with them. It's very fun to do. Uh, so, like I said, you have any request for me, you can comment down below. And I'll see if I do it. Like I said, I'll do more dragons. I think I might start a tutorial of how to draw manga. I think. I mean, I'm not really good at drawing manga, but <laughs> I guess I can try. And yes, thank you for liking. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, tell me your thoughts. And yes, that's it for today. This is this has been L O P Nature. What's it done?